Michigan State University professor for students to pay $99 for left-wing causes. Let's dive into the details, shall we? A Michigan State University MSU professor has been sued for allegedly forcing her students to pay $99 each to her personal political advocacy organization, which ultimately helped fund Planned Parenthood and other left-leaning causes and allegedly violated the students' free speech rights. According to a lawsuit filed Thursday, Amy Weisner, professor of marketing at the MSU College of Business, compelled each of her 600 students to pay a $99 membership fee to join an outside organization called the Rebellion Community as a condition of participation in her course. The court document says Weisner controlled the Rebellion Community and used the membership fees to finance her own political advocacy and to support external groups like Planned Parenthood and progressive causes dedicated to dismantling oppressive systems. According to the lawsuit, Weisner linked to a Facebook page associated with the Rebellion Community and wrote, The Rebellion Community is a safe place to coordinate our efforts to burn everything to the effing ground. Wow, this is a professor teaching kids. Attorneys at the Alliance Defending Freedom are representing students Nathan Barbary and Nolan Radomski, who say that their money was used by their professor to engage in political speech that is antithetical to their deeply held beliefs and therefore their First Amendment rights were violated. The Constitution protects everyone, both from being compelled to speak themselves and from being compelled to subsidize the speech, speech of people they don't want to promote, ADF attorney Logan Spina told Fox News Digital in an interview. And this professor was simply using her position as a faculty at a university teaching a required course to require hundreds of students to do just that. According to the complaint, Weisner used the funds collected from students to the tune of around $60,000 to also purchase an RV. According to the complaint, the Barbary and Radomski were aghast to learn that the fees they were compelled to pay as membership fees would be donated to Planned Parenthood because they are pro-life and think abortion is homicide of innocent children. The lawsuit says that when the government goes from restricting the chosen speech or association of its citizens to compelling them to speak its message or associate with its preferred conf confederates, additional damage is done because forcing free and independent individuals to endorse ideas they find objectionable is always demeaning. The same harms occur when the government compels speech through forced financial contributions, since compelling a person to subsidize the speech of other private speakers raises similar First Amendment concerns, the complaint says. The lawsuit also names Thomas Jitsko, interim provo provo provost and head of academic affairs at the university because he personally approved the policy on the donation of proceeds received from assigned course materials at issue in this lawsuit and is responsible for keeping existing programs updated and in conformity with university educational policies. The university gave students who were enrolled in Weisner's class a credit equal to the fee Weisner charged, but the credit does not stop Weisner from continuing to use the money to support her activism and other groups. The lawsuit demands the school change its policy to not allow professors to require funding material that violates students' First Amendment rights and are seeking nominal compensatory and punitive damages from Weisner from her purposeful violation of plaintiffs' First Amendment rights. What an article to start the day off with. Some of these words. Judith Wimple, interim dean at the business school, is also named in the lawsuit in her official capacity. ADF attorneys filed the lawsuit Barbary v. Jitsko and the U.S. District Court for the Western District of Michigan Southern Division. Very interesting. Yeah, I think this is crazy that professors could do this at all, right? They can basically just go and be like, hey, you have to donate to my organization, and then they just take all the money. 
It's just like, how that's isn't that part of their salary? Do you, salary? Do you think they like pay taxes on that or anything? Very interesting. It's crazy that these are the people. I know we all know, but it's still always interesting to see these are the people teaching kids young young kids in college they're like okay yeah let's burn everything to the ground it's like why and it's a marketing it's a marketing teacher it's like oh man you wonder why bud light got in the mess that it did with that their marketing uh director uh but what is your opinion on this story please let me know in the comments below also be sure to smash that like button subscribe to the channel for daily news updates hit that notification bell and share this video to help spread the news thank you so much for watching and i'll catch you in the next one peace out